Hey guys, this is Mark Shaw's in the Pattern Trader. Just want to give a shout out to a couple of those who left a, a review on our website recently. Uh, this was from Gerald. Gerald says, Mark, it's been a pleasure learning from you. I've been self-learning and trading uh, since about four years ago. It has been a confusing journey with indicators, chasing short-term reversals, etc. Until I heard your views and method, uh, it's simply a breath of fr fresh air. It's a clear concept, less stressful since I came aboard. By the way, I'm only one month into your program. This is highly recommended. My only regret is that I should have found you earlier. So thanks for that, Gerald. Uh, this was from Navaraj. I have entirely changed my way of trading. I can see the process of trading meaningfully uh, with much less stress. I can take a few trades in confidence. I'm starting to make decisions and uh, the money is starting to build slowly. Uh, thanks uh, for Mark's Pattern Trader. It works. So thanks for that, Navaraj. And lastly, from Eugene, as always, Mark, enjoyed your insightful review of the markets. Always appreciate your analysis. So thanks, guys, for that, uh, you know, great comments. And uh, if you want, would like to uh, leave a review, we'll put a, a link to our review website alongside this video. So if you guys uh, don't uh, or have not met me before, my prevailing uh, trading methodology, my prevailing um, philosophy is that the markets are a discounting mechanism. Uh, price is the news. I'm very, at, you know, often asked the question, uh, do I follow the news? Do I follow reports? Do I get in and out of trades based on uh, fundamental information news? And the quick answer is no. Uh, to me, price is the leading indicator. Price is ahead of events. And you can also, uh, you, you cannot trade uh, based on uh, known uh, events as they're occurring in real time. The markets are a discounting force. They're looking ahead. So whatever news is being put out now, the market is looking a month from now, three months from now, maybe even a year from now. And so my view is you have to look at price uh, for an understanding of uh, market direction and trajectory. And I can think of no better example of this philosophy in play uh, than the uh, price action in the U.S. stock market. So you recall back in the uh, February time frame, uh, the NASDAQ, the S&P, the Dow plummeted 25 to 40 percent uh, based on the uh, outbreak of the pandemic. And then right in the heart of the pandemic, uh, when the numbers were at the absolute worst, where uh, U.S. contraction was estimated up to 30 percent in the second quarter uh, and uh, unemployment was the worst uh, or even far worse than we saw in the Great Depression, uh, one would have th thought that the markets would have, you know, kept falling and, you know, fallen out of the sky. Instead, they uh, turned tail, and in the midst of the pandemic, in the midst of the global contraction, uh, the NASDAQ shot up and this week made a new all-time high. Uh, now, the S&P and the Dow Jones, I'll flash a couple char uh, charts for you in a minute, have not. Uh, so the markets are flashing what uh, you know I'm I'm seeing as uh, what could be a uh, a non-confirmation or bearish divergence. So in this chart you can see that the Nasdaq has gone to an all-time high, but now in contrast I'm going to show you the S&P and Dow Jones. You can see that the S&P and the Dow Jones did not exceed the February highs, whereas the Nasdaq has. Uh, so this is somewhat of a negative indicator when uh, one index shoots to uh, one metric and it's not confirmed uh, by the other two. Now, within the cadence uh, of this non-confirmation, I'm also seeing uh, these uh, charts uh, starting to make uh, what look like bearish short-term patterns uh, at near-term price levels. And to my mind, it looks like we're going to get a turn lower. It could be a 10, 15, 20 percent turn. Who knows? But I think uh, that uh, this rally, uh, which has really been extended on technical factors. So this has been somewhat of what I call a short squeeze. Uh, the sh a short squeeze is pretty much defined where price shoots up on technical factors or momentum, not on underlying fundamentals. And so, uh, you know, I don't really get into the whys of why a market goes one way or another. Uh, between the Federal Reserve and the U.S. Congress, the uh, stimulus uh, coming into the U.S. markets is going to be about $10 trillion, which is a significant amount considering the U.S. economy is about a $20 trillion economy. 
So the market has shot up based on a lot of stimulus. And now I think it's going to be a question of how it, uh, you know, handles events going forward. But on a technical basis, I'm seeing a lot of indicators suggest that we're seeing the possibility of a short term top uh, in the U.S. indexes, which could translate to a 10, 20 percent move lower uh, from current levels. So with that said, I want to wish you a healthy and prosperous trading week and I'll see you next time.